What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Maya's World and you guys are not going to believe this gameplay. It's going to be some of the most wild and savage gameplay you have ever seen in this whole time of Madden 20. And I'm going to go ahead and start off with Larry Little. Uh, we're going to be adding him to the lineup. You guys requested that I tried him out. I told you guys we're going to hold on to Brandon Sheriff just for a little bit longer to kind of see exactly what's going on because I don't want to uh, just automatically assume he's going to be able to do everything that I need. So we're going to hold on to him. All right, but Larry Little does look a lot more stout and he has very, very good passing chems as well. Okay, so that makes him a little bit more different than Brandon Sheriff, who seems to be a one-trick pony with the run game, all right? Now we go over to John Henderson. The dude never met a hamburger he didn't like, but it doesn't matter. Six, seven, big body, strong, heavy, ready to go, clog the middle up, and let the other fast guys run around and be savages. That's the goal, because he's the only other guy that could kind of compare to Warren Sapp. Now, he's not getting abilities because we no longer put abilities on our D-tackle, we maneuver him and put, move our guys around a little bit more uh, with the actual, um, you know, the ends with Miles Garrett, Anthony Barr, stuff like that. So that's what we're going to be focusing on. So what you're going to be looking at right now is gameplay for both sides of the ball, but it's going to be amazing what happens on the first plays of both sides of the ball. That's what's going to be more interesting about this video. This is one of, you know, one of my more fun videos that I've done because it kind of worked out perfectly with the, you know, our opponent, everything. Because everything that was supposed to go right happens. And when you get a game like that in Madden, it's like, yo, it, it's nothing that this guy can do that's going to counteract what EA Sports wants to do. So he just has to sit there and just understand that this is going to happen whether he likes it or not. It doesn't matter. And then after we're done, we're going to figure out what's going on with his moms too because that's necessity, bro. That's what we need to do. So anyway, we come out here. I guess he's no money spent. Look, I don't really care. Let me just say something, right? I appreciate the fact that a lot of you guys want to be no money spent and brag and stuff like that, but I don't really care about that because when I first started Mutt, I was no money spent when I first started, right? And then I realized if I want to spend money and take a chance to kind of, you know, make my team better, that's my decision. It doesn't matter, you know, uh, oh yeah, bro, but you spending money. Like, bro, it is what it is. It's your preference and that's why you have options and EA Sports has done a good job to give you guys that option. This is the first play of the game. Bro, this bro, the, the first play of the game, bro, like, it is completely outrageous what's going on. Like, I'm telling you right now, this is some of the most ridiculous stuff you'll ever see because Henderson actually clogs up the entire lane wildly. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is something that, you know, like, you wouldn't even believe. Um, so ideally with everything that was going on, it's like, all right, cool. We're going to go ahead and figure this out one way or the other. Like, it's something that you guys got to understand that's a necessity. You know what I'm saying? Like, the dude is just clogging. It's like three or four guys that are continuously clogging him up. Three or four guys. That It's like, it's wild. It's like really, really wild. Um, and I'm going to tell you this right now. At the end of the day, when people don't understand exactly what these positions do, it becomes very, very, um, it's, it's beneficial for your side of the ball. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's something that you guys got to understand. With the way that it works out, you know, he takes up so much of that attention with the center and the two guards. Nothing else really matters. It's something that's very, very, oh my. And then look at Larry Little. He leads the way with this right here. Now, as we celebrate, you're gonna see Larry Little run up on there and we're gonna see what's good. John Madden is out, oh, dancing with his moms? Okay, cool. Look at, look, 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 look at him, look at him. Larry Little coming over there like, yo, what's good? Everything just seemed to work out perfectly. How often is it that you go out into a gameplay and you're like, I'm doing a gameplay for these specific players, but at the same time, they're gonna still do exactly what you're trying to show that they can do. It's really, really wild. And just so you guys know, I've played a lot more games with both these players, uh, both Larry Little and um, you know uh, John Henderson, and they actually continue to make plays. Now, the way that I have my defense set up right here, John Henderson is right in the middle, just chilling right there. The reason that I set it up like that is to kind of just show you. You see how much attention, immediately two players are right on him, right? So I, I did that with the spacing right there intentionally. Then I did that again. You know, he's got, he has to throw the ball very, very quickly because as soon as the play starts, automatically EA Sports, what they do, I, I guess with their engine is they recognize, oh, oh, we, we play peekaboo. What, where your mom's hiding at? Where your mom's hiding at? Let me go find her. I'm about to go find her, bro. There she goes. Come here, girl. Come here, girl. That's how we play. We play in the bedroom like that. Uh, that's that's private. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you don't need to know nothing about that. Just know that we enjoy ourselves and our company. You know what I'm saying? Just don't, ain't no, it's, it's really no need to keep going on with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's pretty much what it is. Um, and as we continue to go 
forward, I'm going to continue to show you guys more stuff that's going on. Obviously, defensively, you're seeing it more because we're getting a lot of turnovers. Um, you know, the, 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 the pressure that is coming in is wild. So that's something that I really want you guys to watch because Warren Sapp is good, but Warren Sapp wasn't able to do that with the generate. You know, he's generating so much. What is this idiot doing? Does he think it's 2004 Madden with Michael Vick? Do try to do a ring around the rosy. Bro, pocket full of posy? Like, scream at him then. Okay, yeah, throw it right in the coverage. Like, whatever. But again, just look at the way that he is. He is literally, as soon as the play starts, causing complete chaos on that line. And that's what I like about what he's doing. Because he, you, you could see his impact right away. Now, with Warren Sapp, it's a little bit different. Because Warren Sapp, I believe, is better as far as, like, you know, all around because he's faster. And he could pop, you know, he could pick the ball and stuff like that. If you're running around user and John Henderson, like something's wrong with you. Like there's literally no reason to be running around, you know, user and John Henderson. So like that right there, I can't really, you know, promote in any way. Cause like, why are you doing it? But SAP, you could actually do that. I actually played a game where I was intentionally clicking on SAP and then running backwards and dudes was throwing drags and I was picking it. Okay, he almost got that off though. Who, who sacked him? Who was that? Not Burns, that was cool, man. Cause he almost got that off. So this guy, you know, he's still doing whatever he wants. Good job. We're moving him out a little bit because we got to be careful about it. But at the same time, oh, look at all. Bro, do you guys see how many people are attacking John Henderson? As soon as the play starts, all the attention is on him. He's really taking a field goal. Is that true? Is that what he's about to do? I don't know what he's doing. He's about to take the field goal? Uh, He got Elliot, though. Bro, dude got Elliot? What is this? Some kind of weird um, Eagles theme team? I don't know. What's this guy doing, man? I don't even know. What, whatever. It doesn't matter. But again, he gets the message, which is once you get this message, you it's very, very few times that somebody comes back. It's like being up three to one in a series like in the NBA. Like, can it happen? Obviously, LeBron James did it, but you can't really do that um, often. Just come back from down three one. So that's how I correlate that to when you get the message because it's happening so early in the game. Okay, here goes, we're picking up where we left off the last video. All right, you see like how we're mossing dudes now uh, out of the close sets? That's why I urge you guys to practice what you're doing. If you guys watched the last video where we were labbing it, go ahead and write the number four in the comment section because then you guys will see. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. It's trial and error. Nothing just happens overnight. People got to figure stuff out. And once we figure it out, it's over because those are just some of the things that I want to point out to make sure that you know, we're able to successfully accomplish. So right now with the way everything is going, we're going to actually now continue to see exactly what we can do, um, you know, with our teammates and everything that we're doing. So here we go right now. We're going to see, you know, is our defense with John Henderson, like, can we not make this guy score? What is going, it looks like everybody just playing excited. Can we make this guy rage quit? But not only that, how good is John Henderson? Because honestly, looking at the way the game's playing right now, we, you, you could just argue like he's probably the best D tackle right now. If you have guys on the outside that you rush and you apply pressure with, he's probably the best D tackle. But you're not looking for him to do much. You see what I'm saying? Like he himself is not going to be the star. He's going to be that, you know, that dude that causes everybody else on your defense to be better. So that's what he does. So that way, you know, you're not looking for the guy to just, you know, shed immediately and come in and sack the quarterback. Now, what I will tell you is... Most of the people that I play that come out under center, we get immediate pressure, all right? So that's something that I like, because you know, like I said, I played more games with John Henderson and I saw what he was doing. He immediately pushes the pocket. Now you can see that this guy's trying to throw the ball away. He's doing weird stuff. This is just letting us know that this game is gonna end in a very, very wild way. Because this is when you start, when you start beating your opponent into submission, these are the things that start to happen. They, they come out and punt, um, you know, they start, they start running, uh, you know, uh, field goal block on defense. Those are the things that they start to do because what happens is they can't accept that they're about to take this L in their file. But we don't care about that. Like, however they choose to deal with the L that they're going to take, that's their business. We're not worried about it. We're going to keep applying the pressure. But this dude right here, he just stood there and got sacked. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out, like, what exactly did he think was going to happen? I guess he was wondering why Night Train was pressing that guy up the field and then also he was right there ready to go. I, I don't know what he's doing. Okay, right there he did the stupid press. And then, okay, all right, cool, cool, all right. Because the, the, the play before that, he actually pressed the right way. And then he did the stupid press where he lets the guy go. And uh, he, we were about to get beat for six, but Taylor Mays wasn't having it. But either way, it doesn't matter. Let's see what else he continues to do. Continue to watch John Henderson in the middle right there. Just pay attention to the way everybody pays attention to him as soon as the play starts. Like, bro, like, okay, right, oh, whoa. 
I don't know. I don't know how we picked that. I'm not even gonna act like that was something that was intentional. I'm not going to act for a second as if that was okay. That you know what just happened. It was wild. Okay, that's a pick. That's a pick. Good job. Good job, man. That, that was a bad throw. It was it was accurate, but I threw it too early, and he was underneath the route so deeply. Um, you know, uh, EA allowed him to actually pick that. So this guy's just gonna keep throwing that in the air like that. He's gonna keep hiking the ball and just throwing it in the air. I guess that's what he's gonna keep doing. Okay, now you're gonna run the read option. All right, so this guy, he wants to lose by a lot of points. He's just not letting anybody know yet. He, he wants to lose. The, how does he drop that pick? I don't even, bro, Taylor Mays, are you kidding me? Doesn't really matter. He's still, the, he's still the best golden ticket. Hands down, golden ticket Taylor Mays. Give me that dude any time of the day, bro. That dude, that dude roll right there. All right, so what are we doing here? We're going with this? All right, awesome. All right, good animation. Good animation right there, perfect. That's exactly the way I drew it up, man. Let's try it again. Right here, awesome. All right, cool. All right, so we are getting better as far as that goes within the tight formations. Now, what we could, oh, oh, okay, r r yeah, let's go. Let's go, bro, let's go. Um, what we could do is we could start to get a little bit more jiggy with it. Because let me explain what I mean. Now that we could do it out of tight sets and the wide sets, now would be a good time if you guys are still labbing it to come out in one formation, change to another, and still moss dudes because they have to adjust their defense if you understand what you're doing and then now the way that they play close sets is going to vary because remember you could always run stretch out of the close sets so it's going to vary how they can actually defend it it's going to be very very difficult to deal with it if you guys are able to go ahead and keep doing it now this is consistent pressure this guy is consistently getting sacked every single time bro when he hikes the ball somebody is back there like yo what's gucci and they're asking him literally what's gucci all right he's just gonna throw it up in the coverage all right look, run it for six run it for, oh cut him off yeah there we go run it for six is that also on jeffrey what what is he do? what is that what, what is that guy doing what 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 why is alshon jeffrey doing that i don't i don't even know what that okay he just ran into my kicker yeah this guy's losing it man he's starting to lose it so you guys can already know what to expect he's gonna be a guy that's gonna want to you know he's gonna want to make the game longer He's gonna come out, you know, start doing weird stuff. It's just, it's the typical stuff. Here we go right now, he's gonna punt the ball. Like, bro, come on, man. You know, just easily pause the game, do what's right. I'll be at your mom's crib later and that's it. Like, why are you gonna put somebody through this? I just don't understand. If you're not gonna keep trying to win the game by, you know, you know, doing whatever you have to do offensively, just do what's right. Like, what are you doing, bro? And then you're gonna run field goal block? Like, I, yo, he's doing everything that typical bums do. Then he's clicking on and running away. Like, right here, I don't wanna score. So I'm just gonna run straight so he can tackle me because I, like I said, it's, it doesn't matter. I, I just want it to be, you know, I just want the game to be over with at this point. You know what I'm saying now? Oh, okay, all right, cool. So now we're just gonna speed it up. We're just gonna speed the game up. We're just gonna speed it up. We're gonna run through all the um, all the quarters, see what's going on so you guys can see exactly what's going on. We're gonna run the ball, we're doing all this stuff. Just so you guys know, he literally stayed through this in real time. Like, you know, we're speeding it up, but he literally stayed through all of this. Notice, I don't wanna score. I'm falling down on the ground, I'm doing everything. I'm like, all right, cool. This guy just refuses to leave the game alone. All right, right there, I fell on the ground again. I didn't want to score. You know, we come out, whatever. It is what it is. I'm just trying to see how much this guy can take. You know, and this guy can take a lot. Like, look, look at this, it's still going on. Still going on, game's still going on. He's coming out, playing. Uh, he got an offense, he's getting safeties. Th this is weird, bro. But you know, what's interesting though is at no point did he pause the game or do anything weird. So you gotta give him credit for that. You know like a lot of dudes wanna pause the game and all that stuff? He wasn't trying to pause the game. He was just trying to stay in the game and make it long. You know what I'm saying? And th that's cool. Like you log into a game, you wanna get your beating, that's fine. Everybody should be able to get the beat in the way that they want it. And then when they're done getting the beating, go to the pause screen and concede. He didn't have enough of beating and I didn't wanna keep scoring because then it's like, okay, now he'll keep punting to me and then it's over and over again. You saw how we scored almost 100 points on another guy uh, earlier in the year. Like they keep punting the ball because the game is pretty much over and they just wanna stay and you know, like, you know, do whatever they're doing. But obviously we're still keeping the pressure on him. All right, even with all of that that was going on, we're still keeping the pressure on him. He just mossed me by the way, with that last play. That's why I actually uh, clipped it and stuff like that. But, and then he, he ran backwards for a safety on himself. And then finally, he's gonna go ahead and punt the ball. And then we're gonna slow it down. And that's pretty much the way the game is gonna end. So he, he, he literally stayed there throughout the entire game, came out again doing his, you know, punt block, field goal block, whatever he's doing. I, you know, I, I just don't feel the need to have to do this every time. You know, it's not fun, you know, to keep coming out here and beating dudes and dudes won't leave the game and they wanna let you keep scoring on them. But this was hilarious. This right here was hilarious because I wasn't expecting this. You know, like the, the camera angle change, he just couldn't tackle both. Absolutely hilarious. 
If you could believe any of the stuff that just happened, let me know in the comments. I couldn't believe it happened. It worked out perfectly. So that's Larry Little. That's John Henderson. I want to thank you guys and girls for watching. Be safe. Until next time. One love.